wanted to share just a little bit about the idea of hope and the gospel and how the biblical theme of hope is, is such an important part of the gospel. Um, it says that um, those who hope in Christ and his second coming purify themselves as he is pure, that we are able to make um, our way through to hard times because of the hope of the gospel. Um, hope is such an important thing. Uh, we're not just saved from wrath, but we're saved and tied to, to God for a hope for tomorrow, a hope for the future, an eternal hope that comes through Jesus Christ. And uh, I was reading this in First Timothy, and uh, Paul's talking to his his uh, partner in the gospel, Timothy, and he's he's telling uh, him to to be strong and to preach the word and to call his people to the hope of of Christ. Um, and in First Timothy four ten, he talks a little bit about that, and he says, uh, for to this end, we toil and strive because we have our hope set on the living God who is the savior of all people, especially all those who believe. Now, it's one thing to know that Christ exists, but it's a whole nother thing to actually place your hope in him. And uh, my wife and I, our family, uh, we're wanting to go to Spain to present that hope of the gospel uh, to a country who's for a very long time known about Jesus. But when you start asking questions about where their hope is, do you see that almost nobody has that hope? And there are people there who are part of God's remnant and, and trying to share the gospel. And then that is a good thing. And it's a hopeful thing. And we just want to be a part of that. We want to say that God is a God of Spain too. And he's called you to something bigger um, there's this group called Decision um, that works in Spain, and they put out videos. And I wanted to share a video with you guys. Um, it is called A Prayer for Spain, and uh, it is our prayer for Spain. Lord, Spain needs you. Its streets flow with busy people who are completely unaware of your grace. From its fields come flowers and food, but those who plant and harvest don't know the love they can find through your word. Spain has more brothels and bars than any country in Europe and leads in the consumption of cocaine and marijuana. It desperately lacks the values, purpose, and peace that only you can provide. Don't delay, Lord. Each day that passes, more and more people are deceived by a religion of guilt processions and rituals that have nothing to do with the redemption that Jesus proclaimed. Speak to them in cathedrals. Tell them that you are alive and that the anguished images they venerate are not the real story. All creation celebrates your presence. From the Cantabrian coast to the Mediterranean Sea, from Extremadura to Catalonia, from the Canary Islands to the Balearics, you have made Spain rich in landscapes and scenery. Thank you, Father, for providing spaces to enjoy your creativity. Lord, we cry out to you in all of the languages and accents you've given Spain, that you will bring peace to its minds and hearts. Lord, you have blessed Spain with internationally renowned poets and artists, scientists and athletes. We ask now that you bless them with an understanding of your message of hope. 
you've made it a world-class tourist destination with bulls and tapas and excellent restaurants and hundreds of castles and palaces, yet so few people who live with a faith in Jesus Christ. Our prayer is for a rich harvest from all of the seeds faithfully planted for over a century by your workers. Let this be the time for Spain. We ask for faith to see what has yet to be seen in Spain, a sea of changed lives who have found in Christ the purpose and light they're looking for. We ask for a new chapter in the history of Spain, that your spirit will work and produce spiritual hunger in Spaniards, and that your church can more effectively communicate that it is only in Christ that our inner thirst is truly quenched. In the name of Jesus, amen. And so that is that is decisions prayer for Spain, but that's our prayer for Spain too. Um, and I, I pray that you would just catch that vision with us. Um, we we were told by the Lord to pray that people would be sent into the harvest. Um, I started praying that prayer a few years ago, and then He sent me <laughs> and, and my family. And so, uh, just join me now, if you would, um, for a moment. And I'm going to pray for Spain. And if you would, um, when you see this, whenever that happens to be, also lift up a prayer for Spain and its people. And Lord God, we uh, we know that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, especially those who believe. And it's to this end that we toil and strive, that we call people to the hope we have in the one true God. Um, that we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, and that this is about putting our trust in Jesus. God is the God of Spain, and I just pray that you would open up their hearts to that, that um, the lies that they've been told, the hopelessness that they may feel, the addictions that are present, those who would come and twist your word, um, that you would just open them up to the truth. You love the Spanish people. And so we love the Spanish people. We just pray that you would help them to see um, that Christ came to give life and to give it abundantly. And that this hope for an eternal life and an eternal um, life with you can be theirs. And that you would send more people into the field and that the churches that are there would... Um, be powerful and effective in preaching and teaching your word and sharing the hope and living it out and showing kindness and um, rightly representing you and that people would hear the gospel and receive it. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about our ministry, we have some videos and some uh, information. Uh, you can go to this website, bit.ly slash Gilberts in Spain. And that is um, the website that I, I made to kind of help explain who we are and why we're going. Um, and just head over that way. Feel free to look at the videos and uh, share that with other people. Maybe if you can share that to your Facebook page, that would be very helpful, helpful to us also. And uh, if you wanted to partner with us, we'd be glad to meet with you and share um, our ministry with you and ask answer any questions that you have um this is another website sin.org slash js gilbert um that's where you can pledge your support for us but we really want people to hear about what we're doing and to, to really take a partnership in it and to have a heart for spain and its people and for missions because he's promised that he will come but that this gospel needs to be spread and uh, that's our mission and uh, so partner with us and prayer partners with us financially, um, have a heart for seeing the lost not only come to faith, but come to maturity in Christ. Because that's the thing that we toil for, is to see everyone come to that hope and be presented as mature before Jesus Christ. Thanks for your time.